hi everyone in this video we are going to see how to use get filter method before we proceed i'd like to tell you that this is my github page where you can find the code which i'm explaining in the video for your reference so you can see all these things here i'll be sharing this github uh, link in my description so please check that and this is my blog okay so you can uh, you will uh, you will get the information in a written format the complete detailed information here and uh, if you just click on any one of the blog article then you will find the follow page please follow my blog and also this link i have given in the description and this is my youtube channel so if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to get the information the latest information about the microsoft dynamics 365 and this is the playlist of the complete videos okay so you can start from the basics towards the advanced so i will be updating the video content every week so in this video we will understand what is get filter so get filter gets a list of filters within the current filter group that are applied to the field so whenever you create a filter whatever the filter you create those filter you can get and see how many what are the filters you have applied so far so this is what so this basically use the record since the filter you will you can see the filter from the table so we will be we have declared this as a record here in the filter query so here you can see that we have created the we have called the table here okay and we have applied the filter So here you can see that what is happening here completely. So you can even try this. They have given Microsoft Learn. They have given various examples. So I am going to explain you the simple example where I will be creating a query. These examples you can directly uh, call this in the page. Or you can set the get filter in the table level. And then you can try to uh, see what is the output there. Okay, but what I have did is what I just showed you what is the power of the filter? What is the power of the set filter? Even though you have uh, already used the filter function, what uh, I wanted to show you is what even though you have already set the fun filter function in your query, you can even override that filter function using the set filter and the get filter. Okay, so so we'll be creating this particular query this complete query where i'll be uh, using the filter function and the column filter property and then i'll create a code in it okay where i will override the filter which we have created here in the filter function column filter property with the column filter property and then i'll just get the filter what filter we have applied okay actually it has to show greater than 5 because we have applied the filter here as a greater than 5 but it will show as like greater than 10 because we have set the filter which overrides the existing filter method and then i i dis, i will display what is the filter we have applied that is get filter so i am just going to create a query uh, with a snippet t query okay and uh, you can type the id name and you can use the query name as customer sales quantity or anything it might be okay sales quantity sales underscore quantity okay and the query type is normal and then we are going to uh, connect two table one table is a customer table and another one is a sales line table so let us try that so in the first one i'm going to use the customer table so i'm going to write customer and in the customer table i'm going to call um, the name and the number so in the column i'm going to use first one is name okay and in the second column i'm going to use the number And as I told, I'm going to connect an another uh, um, table called the sales line table. So what I'm going to do is what I'm going to connect. I am going to I'm going to use a data item block. Okay, data item, and I'm going to use a sales line 
fine and here in that because since we are connecting two tables so we have to add the property called data item link so i'm just going to use the data item link and the common property is what the number okay so i'm going to use the number and i'm going to use what customer dot number okay so we have to just tell which two that is on based on which field we are connecting okay so i have told that i am connecting with the number because number is my primary key so with that primary key i am connecting two tables and if you want to say uh, the join type you can say or else it will by default it will understand that this is an inter join and in this i am going to use the column i am going to use the quantity column here okay so i have called the quantity column and uh, and under this i am going to use the filter okay to use the filter column here in this table so in the filter column what i'm going to do is what i'm going to filter based on the quantity itself so quantity underscore filter and uh, it's semicolon i'm just going to call the quantity itself okay and since i'm using the filter method and i can use the uh, use the property called column filter okay column filter uh, and in that i'm going to just uh, uh, use it with the quantity filter okay and here i have to use the filter method i'm going to tell which is greater than 5 so what is happening here basically is what okay quantity uh showing the error called quantity filter so what i'm trying to tell the query is what i want to display the data which is uh, greater than 5 that is where the quantity is greater than 5 okay if you execute this query alone then it will show the uh, data which is greater than the, in for which the quantity is greater than 5 Okay, let us delete all these things because I don't want all these things. And let me see what is the error it is. Okay, so so this is what. So let us save this. Now we are going to create what I'm going. As I told, I'm going to create a code unit here. So in this code unit, I'm going to call what I'm going to call this particular query. Before that, so we have used column filter property here. This column property basically sets a filter on the column. filter row of a query okay and uh, the filter here you can see that in this you can see that this is the filter that used to reduce the number of uh, uh, displayed records and this filter method which is this is also a keyword which defines a new filter on the query data items this is for data item and this is for query okay so now let us go and write the code in it okay and uh, here i am just going to write the code in it get set okay and uh, uh, in the in the code in it what i am going to do is what i am going to I'll assign the query whatever the query which i have created in this okay so my query colon so it's a query object and i am going to call this query sales quantity okay so you can see here that i have called this sales quantity and uh, i'm going to create a filter my filter and i'm going to name it as a text i'm going to create it as a text okay and the next one is what i'm going to create a dummy text 
uh, text is 01 and directly I'm going to make it as a label label and in that label I'm going to write the filter as percentage one okay so this three things I have created and on the run method okay on the run method so what I'm going to do is what inside the begin and end I'm going to create my query dot set filter okay set filter which is I'm going to set like quantity quantity greater than okay so here you can see that uh, I'm going to say I have set here like quantity greater than 10 so what is this quantity quantity okay okay so quantity which is greater than 10 and this I'm going to write it inside the single quotes So what I'm doing is here is what quantity is the column okay quantity is a column okay I'm setting the field for the quantity which is greater than 10 okay so this is what happening here and in the next so what is happening I'm setting a filter to display only the sales quantity is greater than 10 so what happens since I have written something here in the column uh, filter right uh, filter column so this column filter I have written like greater than 5 okay but here what I'm doing is I'm writing which is greater than 10 so what is happening here this particular statement will overwrite the column filter property okay and now I'm just going to write my query dot open because I just wanted to open the query so this will open the query this will run the query and applies the filter okay and then what i'm doing is what in the my filter so i have created the my filter column i am assigning the my query dot get filter here okay get filter and inside that filter i am calling quantity And in the message, I'm just creating text zero one, comma, my filter. Okay, so what is happening here? This two statements. Okay, so what I'm doing is this: I'm returning the filter on the quantity column and displays the filter in the message. Okay, this is the co code unit. This is the code unit part. Got it? So you can see okay okay so this is the coordinate part so what we have did is what we have created the filter and then we have created the so we have created the query and then we have created the uh, coordinate as well now I'm just going to uh, create a page which calls this coordinate okay so I'm going to create a page with T page okay and in that T page what I'm going to do is what I'm going to make it as 0105 and this is okay I don't I don't have any table name I'm just deleting it I don't have any uh, layouts here okay since I'm just simply go to uh, going to create an action so I'm just leaving it as such and in the action I'm just going to uh, name as get set okay and uh, in the trigger in the trigger I just wanted to call what I wanted to call the code in it so here I am creating I'm just creating a variable with the name code in it so my code colon code in it sorry code in it space what is the name of the code in it you have it's a get set right get set the code in it you have so I am just going to run this get set. So my code dot run. Okay, this is very simple. I'm just going to do this. Okay, just press control and yes here. 
and then it's going to save and I'm going to execute it So you can see here that this is the action. This is what we have created. If you click on this action, you can see the get set. And if you click get set, you can see that filter is greater than 10. So what is happening here is what in the query, I have created a filter method that is inside the filter. I have created that it should be greater than five. So if you only execute this query, you will get the quant you'll get all the records for which the quantity is greater than five. Okay, but what happens? We have created a code unit. In that code unit, we have overwrite that particular query and I have said that the quantity should be greater than 10. Okay, and uh, that is what I have written here. And in the my filter, I have just called that my query dot get filter the quantity. Okay, and it overwrites the query. And in the message, I'm, I'm displaying the my filter. Okay, so I have set the filter as greater than 10 and I am just getting that particular filter. I hope you can understand. Uh, so when what happens is if I set the filter which is greater than 10, it, the filter will be set to greater than 10 value. And if I am getting the filter, it will display what filter we have applied in our particular table. And I'm displaying a message. I've created a simple page to just to call the code in it. And in that page, you have seen that this is what it's showing that the filter is greater than 10. Okay. This is what basically the get filter function do.